This is a Security Weekly production. This week on the Stogie Geek Show, we interview Justo Eroa and Bernie Rodriguez from JRE Tobacco. In our debonair ideal segment for this evening, we're going to talk about the origins of coffin cigars and all about cigars that come in individual coffins. In our Stogies of the Week, we get all kinds of fun stuff to talk about. I'll talk about some box splits, some box worthies, and uh, Will will round it out. Stogie Santa's here in studio, so make sure you stay tuned. This is the Stogie Geek Show. Broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island, it's the show where cigars burn slow, ashes fall fast, and cocktails flow steady. It's the Stogie Geek Show. Brought to you by Paying homage to the mecca of tobacco, Pinar del Rio, Cuba, Abe Flores opened his PDR Cigar Factory in the Dominican Republic over 10 years ago. Abe is one of the hottest boutique cigar makers in the industry today, earning the number 10 spot on Cigar Aficionado's Top 25 Cigars of 2014 with the Abe Flores 1975 Siri Pravada. Abe and his team use Cuban blending traditions in a modern boutique Dominican factory. Smoke PDR cigars and cut, light, and taste what they love to do. Duran Premium Cigars, one of the fastest growing boutique cigar companies, providing smokers a portal into the old Cuban tradition of perfect balance and the lost art of progressive flavor construction. Roberto Palayo Duran began his career in tobacco over two decades ago in Havana where his reputation grew within Cuban circles. The creation of Duran Premium Cigars has given Roberto the platform to introduce a series of cigars that offer the same quality, construction, and detail which he perfected while in Cuba. Brands include the ultra-premium Roberto P. Duran Premium Cigar Series, Azan Cigars, Nea, and Baracoa. Duran Cigars uses a seed-to-humidor approach as all tobacco is grown on their farms and rolled in their factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Rollers have been carefully chosen to carry out Roberto's precise method to ensure progressive flavor in each cigar. Duran Cigars invites you to make their premium your standard. M. Bombay Cigars represent the most admired cigar culture of Cuba. They select the best of the best quality tobacco to use in the aging process. M. Bombay Cigars are then rolled in Costa Rica by some of the most experienced cigar rollers, giving it a unique smoking experience. The band portrays the detailed and artistic nature of our small industry. Try the M. Bombay Casera, M. Bombay Mora, and the recently released M. Bombay Habana. M. Bombay Cigars, where the cigar is a way of life. Everyone to the Stogie Geek Show. Very excited because none other than Mr. Will Cooper is here in studio, sitting to my right. Welcome to the studio, Will. Wow, I mean, it's a yeah. what what a day we've had in the studio, guys. Um, just to give you an idea, we we started out <clears> with <throat> like steak. We actually cooked and up cocktails. steak and, and, and cocktails cigars. and cigars. Yep, and, which was uh, awesome. Yep, I mean, so uh, great to be up here. Yes. Always growing this studio as I've come up here. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Mr. Yeah. Stokie San is here in studio. Good evening. This is uh, this is great me. to have both oh. you guys in studio. This oh, is going to be uh, this is going to be really fun. Yep. Oh yeah. Will's got his bowling shoes on. We're ready, <laughs> we're ready to rock. <laughs> I, it, it, I had another shirt on, but I kind of Stogie sanded the shirt over a Joyles before. <laughs> yeah, you did. You, you had some shirt issues oh, it today. Went, oh, he had like I, a button undone. He's like, oh, I had to undo that button because I got ash like in my shirt. <laughs> and then he had like this big wet stain on his shirt. And I'm like, what's that from? He's like, well, I got ash over there too. I'm like, well, what were you and doing? Steak, like ashing and, on and yourself steak, today? And steak juice. <laughs> and steak juice too, apparently. Yep, yep. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm going to turn it over to you to, uh, to uh, introduce our special guests for this evening that yeah. are on the lines via Skype. Yeah, and then making their Stogie Geeks debut, um, we have the folks from JRE Tobacco. We have Justo Arroyo and Bernie Rodriguez. Gentlemen, welcome to the Stogie Geeks show. Hey, thank you for having us over at, at the Stogie Geeks. We really appreciate it. I'm here with uh, Bernie Rodriguez, our national sales uh, uh Manager and um, Justo Iroa, um, president of GRE Tobacco. Uh, this is a new company that's launching three new brands with my father, Julio Iroa. That's why GRE is basically his uh, initials, uh, Julio R. Rafael Iroa. So uh, thank you for having us, and uh, we'll be glad to uh, participate and answer any questions. Happy Cinco de Mayo, guys. Thank Same you. To you. Happy brother. Cinco de Mayo. Yep. We're drinking uh, dirty martinis in celebration of Cinco de Mayo today, yep. which is not. 
We should be drinking margaritas. Margaritas don't go very well with cigars, no, though. No, this no, is too no. tart. Too they, tart. They definitely, they definitely know. If you make it this simple syrup, it's not bad. It's not bad. Well, if you just leave everything out, put the tequila, I guess it's not bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> you drink the Even whatever. the tequila straight. Anyway. Whatever. Anyway. Let's, Let's get, get to it. Yeah, that's it. Let's I rock can tell and roll. by the tone in your voice you want us to get right to it. That's, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, why don't you lead it in with our, uh, with our guests? Yeah, so um, I know, uh, Husto, you... Uh, you have a familiar last name, um, so and obviously your family's been in the cigar business for a long time. But pri- pr- both of you gentlemen, prior to coming to JRE Tobacco, what was what, what did you guys do beforehand? Well, let me start so I can leave uh, the, the master to, uh, to the end. Uh, Twelve years in the Navy, I'm, I'm a patriot. And I like to serve my country, and I went out there to to do twenty years on federal law enforcement. Uh, my dear friend Justo called me up. A few months ago, I said, I want to do something fun, and here I am, uh, doing something that I love. This is a lifestyle. This is what I love to do, and it's no better way to transition into something else from the federal government. Well, in myself, uh, I, I'm actually an, agro- uh, an agronomist, graduated in San Marano in 1987. That's a long time ago. Uh, and I always worked with my dad uh, basically in the, in the farm side. And, uh, and from there on... <clears throat> Before the before the cigar boom and until the cigar boom, I was always with him uh, working with in, in, in all the aspects of the agronomic field and in, in the tobacco. But at that at the same period of time, I, I also I also had started a water bottling company, which became uh, very big within Honduras, and uh, later later sold it off and 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 moved to to Miami, where I became worked at FIU as a contractor for U.S. Southern Command, and it's uh, pretty cool stuff in science and technology, which is the J-9 section uh, 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 of the command, and we did a lot of cool projects in Latin America that had to do with renewable energies and testing new equipment that might be used in in, uh, in different uh, wartime scenarios. So, so therefore, that 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 was a pretty cool cool stuff. I also got I was able to get my MBA during that time, and then. For the last four years, I was also hired to be one of the retail and sales managers for Latin America, uh, managing the Walmart account for Campbell Soup's company. And then after many years of my dad uh, and I talking, getting getting together, we were able to uh, have a happy meeting. And, you know, my dad is going to be 80 in the next two years. So he says, hey, you're the agronomer. you got to come back. So basically, you know, it is the right thing to do. Excellent. Excellent. So um, were you, you know, your dad and your brother obviously were both involved with Camacho. Were you involved with Camacho at all? Basically, in, in anything that has to do with the commercial part, I was never involved. I was always very focused on, 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 on helping out my father with all the plantations, all the, all, all the, all the pest management, all the notification of the, of the farm. And at the same time, I was also developing a, a water bottling industry. Uh, that, that you know that became probably the second or third largest in the country. So I, I was I was very involved when it had to do with with the sales and, and and dealing with you know with with all aspects of mass consumption. Great. So hey, I, sorry, I, just a production note: the uh, the live stream is not running, guys. I don't know what the the issue is, but sorry, we'll work on that. So. We'll get into the brands, but there's kind of something interesting when, you know, I saw JRE Tobacco launched. Um, the brands were not something that were unfamiliar to me. These brands, I actually saw them last year uh, at the CLE Cigar booth. Um, so obviously now they've been spun off into a separate company. What, what kind of went into that? Well, it's, it's very simple. If you look at, you know, when, when you look at having focus, if you look at, you know, all major corporations and if you want to have a dedicated team, look at, for example, General Motors. They have Cadillac as, as one of their, their, their premier brands. They also have GMC. They also have Chevrolet. If you go to a Toyota Motor Corporation, you also have what you call Toyota and then you have Lexus. So, you know, we can't have, you know, we need, in order to develop new brands, we need to have full attention and focus. And my brother has been very successful. He's way ahead of the game. You know, I'm going to be able to be lucky. I'm able to be very lucky to ride the wave. And, and you know, he, you know, he's opening up a lot of doors for me. He guides me, helps me. And, and then also Bernie, which with, he's very enthusiastic when, when, with, with, with his, he's got great people, people skills. And I think it's, it's going to allow us to start developing our own uh, national sales team. 
And but before anything of like that that we're already starting to do, one of the things we're we're getting our brands to where we want them to look. You know, we want them to have good presentation. Uh, you know, define what all our blends are. So we have been going through this process because in the in the launch in IPCPR it was kind of a, everybody rushing for FDA regulation that was just came out because you wanted to be you know ready before this 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 came into effect. So that was. But basically what you saw last year at the IPCPR, kind of a rush to get the brands out there. And, and now we are taking the time to do things right. So who's, to, who, uh, who's doing the blending? Is it a collaborative effort? Is, uh, like who's involved in that process? Oh, basically, in the blending, my dad and, and, and myself are, mm -hmm. are very involved. Uh, you know, we also get feedback from my brother. You know, you, you, need, to, you, you, know, you need to take advantage of all the experience that is out there. And we have a great team of collaborators. You know, you can see Aurora 20, you know, is, is doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. It's a blend I did, did, did for him. And, uh, you know, he is, my dad, I, I believe he's probably one of the premier blenders. And he does not rush, you know, the process of, mm -hmm. of tobacco. You know, if it's not aged properly, you know, he won't sell it. And I'll go, you know, people go crazy because we all think, oh, it's great. But he says, no, it's not ready yet. So, <laughs> get it, coño, te aguantas. <laughs> So now is Christian your older or younger brother? No, he actually, actually, I am the older brother, even mm -hmm. though, uh, you know, he looks more beat up, but I guess he's, you know, he's, he's outlasting. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't I speculating. Like Notice no, I didn't no, guess. No, I just no. asked. That's what farm life <laughs> does for you. Yeah. That's right. We all, we all, we all, yeah. I'll say this. I know, I know Christian is younger than me. But he calls me kid all the time. <laughs> so I feel good you know about why, that. You know why that? Because in cigar years, Christian is much older than all of us. Yeah. That's for sure. He's been Twenty plus years in the industry, so therefore he's the old guy. I'm 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 actually a first year old. I'm I'm not even a toddler yet. <laughs> in the commercial side. <laughs> right. Right. So so one thing, and I smoked. I've smoked the blends, um, and I actually had them. They one thing is when I had them, it, it showed a. I remember when they were under the CLE umbrella, where they were at the show, I should say. Very different profile than I was accustomed to maybe the Christian Aroa cigar being. This, it was very different. Maybe you could talk a little about, about that. Well, a absolutely. One of the things that, that different, you know, my brother, since he's been smoking for over 20 years, I'm, a, I'm basically a, a, a pretty young smoker when it comes to, to smoking. I, I, I've always smoked. But not as often as, as you know, as my brother has smoked because he's been more in you know in the, involved in the industry than I have. But my brother, my, my dad is 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 a is a medium <laughs> smoker. So in in the way that my dad blends, it, it appeals to to I guess to people that want to smoke maybe two or three cigars a day, any time of the day cigar. So you know our blends are medium blends. And once we start talking a little bit more about the different uh, brands. You know, it, it's, it's going to be very hard to pick which one I like because each one has got a particular particular uh, characteristic that wants us to not only have one cigar, but, you know, repeat and have several cigars. I want to know what you think, Bernie, that you want to add to that because I think... No, 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 you're right on point. You know, it, 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 the, the biggest piece of the pie is is the medium uh, blend smokers. Uh, and, and to add to that, uh, Julio, uh, who's just that, it, it's that type of smoker as well. So... So when he had the ability to, to do his cigar, if you will, w without the influence of Christian, who's a heavy, heavy uh, 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 um, strength cigar, so he, he just kept it in a medium size because that's what he likes and that's what he enjoys. So all cigars have that characteristic that it's, it's not the, the heavy smoke that, that, that will kick you, if you will, but you can smoke any time of the day. And, and you know, but the one thing that I liked is kind of getting back to the point of them being different is – Kind of yeah, this made sense. You're not repeating what what is going on in your brother's company. That's it, it, that's it, key. It's key. This is this. These are cigars that have their own identity, which I was really really impressed with. Well, it, it, one of the other things that you know, when you come from 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 also, and that's one of the things that I always try to emphasize when I speak with my dad. You know, you when when you look at the, at the cigar market, you know, you need you know. They always told me, hey, look at the big pile of money. Where's the big pile of money? Where the most of the cigar smokers are going to. So what we do is focus uh, on that palette. And not only that, I also like that. So I'm not, not, I'm not you know, in a way I'm supporting what I want. <laughs> but if I had to manufacture something that my clients or, my, or the cigar smoker wants, 
I need to achieve that. And that's what a good manufacturer needs to do. But the other thing that is most important, we do not rush the process. We need, you know, we stay on point. If it takes us, you know, more time to, to deliver the cigar, you know, we're going to take more time to deliver the cigar because, because we cannot compromise. And that's one of the philosophies of my dad. You know, the demand is going to be there. But you know what? If the demand is higher than what we can produce, you know, we, it, it is going to be, that's, that's, that's our philosophy. My dad is going to do what, what is going to be done right in the cigars. The cigar is going to talk to us. We're yeah. not going to rush the cigar. The cigar is going to tell us when it's ready, and, and that's what we execute. And then you look at the, at the pluses and minuses of being the medium being a larger supplier or, or smoking the cigar. You have to stand out because you've got more competition than anybody else. You, you right. see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so. Right. Now, this is a, a Porto, right? This is all uh, Honduras? Which one? Yeah, that, that's a, 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 yeah. You, so, the Latino. Mm -hmm. the Latinos is, it, once you go into the brands, this is my dad's baby. This is 100% Corojo from the authentic seed. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, you know we, we want to kind of take ownership, uh, or we want to take ownership, to, to rephrase it, of growing Corojo. Corojo, as you know, is, is the original seed. And from the agronomic point uh, standpoint, it, it's much harder to grow because, first of all, it yields less. It yields around 37 to 40 percent less than the Criollo or the Havano uh, 2000. So, so therefore, it, it, it's much harder to grow. It is more susceptible to 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 to, to different plagues, and and, and, and so, uh, but we, we we do it, and we have done it, and we have mastered the growing of, of Corojo. <clears throat> And, and now all the Corojo you use in your cigars is grown in your farms in Honduras, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. when you'll see the different blends, but we need when we need to purchase, you know, the right wrapper. You know, we will we'll purchase the Connecticut from Ecuador for mm -hmm. one of our scan lines, and we'll purchase the, the the Maduro wrapper from 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 Mexico because you need to provide the best from the best. So you know, so but in an industry, I believe we are the best in Corojo, in, in authentic Corojo. Mm -hmm. For, for a small Vitola like this, it's difficult to make a cigar that's this flavorful. You know what I mean? Because you're not playing with a lot of tobacco. Lot of tobacco. Now. And now, so take us through some of the, give us an overview of the lines, and then I want to delve into some of the different mm -hmm. lines and their blends. Well, um, like I said, we have basically three three brands, which is which I already mentioned. Aladino, which is is, is my dad's baby. And basically, that, that's 100% Corojo. You'll have uh, the wrapper that is Corojo, the binder that is Corojo. And then you have the filler, which is uh, also 100% Corojo. Then uh, Bernie, you want to go Tatascan? He's kind of the, 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 the Tatascan guy. Yep. And, uh, and, I'm, sm and I'm smoking Tatascan. Mm. Yeah. Tatascan is a, is, a, is a very peculiar cigar. I, I like it for many reasons. It, it somewhat uh, represents uh, some of the things that I've done in my previous lives and hopefully to achieve in this life. Uh, and it basically means the big boss is El Jefe. Tatascan is a, is a, is a word... Uh, a phrase known in within the Honduras uh, 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 in the country as the big boss. There's several other uh, products which bear that name as well. Uh, it's a big jefe. That's why you have the hat. Uh, it, it you know the, the the guy who 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 leads everybody else. And as you know, uh, the Tatascan has two two wrappers. Uh, we have the Habano wrapper and the Connecticut wrapper. And the Habano is our Habano as well, uh, grown in in, in Hamastran. And, and uh, we add a little twist to it. I don't know if that's the one you, you are smoking right now, but we added a little twist to it. Uh, we added a sweet cap. I'm pretty sure you guys can relate to, to some yep. of the things that Julio has done. Yep. Based right. on the sweet cap. Uh, and I think the sweet cap, it, it's, it's, very, it's a very subtle uh, cap. I think it adds yep. a lot to the cigar, and it takes you through the whole smoke, and, and it's, it's not overwhelming. Not at all. So people think about sweetness. It you know they they might have a misconception that it's just gonna be too too sweet, but it really isn't. It it really is a very nice, pleasant, <clears throat> and it's an everyday cigar. I mean, you can smoke that cigar in the morning, afternoon, or or, or evening, and mm -hmm. I have, and I smoke a lot of them, by the way. Yeah, I mean, this is a cigar, and I I've really gravitated to this one. Um, it's like you said, I could give it to a new smoker, and I can give it to a seasoned connoisseur, and uh, great great flavor. Like you said, that, that medium, good medium in there. So I think we get, um, personally, I guess getting older, I'm probably the, one of the older crew here. and Why, my, Wiser, not older, wiser. Uh, whatever. Much uh, more experienced. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Flavor is the most important component for me personally. The, I, I, you know, strength is not a bad thing. I'm not saying that. It's, it's a personal uh, type of thing for every smoker. 
but with the flavor that 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 this is deli delivering right now, and the combustion rate is perfect. To me, I don't want something that's too much smoke. I want to yep. I want a deliberate draw. If that makes any sense, that way it delivers what you want. It's it's perfect. Look look at, look at this. Yep. You look at that. I, I know you're not bellowing with a whole bunch of smoke, and that's just my personal opinion. At this at this I, juncture, I agree. it's really really yep. well constructed. Mm-hmm. I like a little more smoke than I think Stogie said. I like a little looser draw and a little more smoke. Mm. Not There's like a balance for me. I, I like it just a little above the norm. Not over the top, but I like it a little above see, the norm. I see, guess something late. I don't know. know. Maybe the I'm younger, lazy, when and burns too but but <laughs> no, When it burns too fast like that, you're, you're going to lose the F and, uh, uh, the, the, the taste of, and of that cigar mm. for me. Mm. Oh, look. Look at you! Look at that ash you have going there. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's nothing. I just you should have seen that before. Yep. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm telling you, it's just to me. Uh, well, there's no, I'm other smoking cigar. the um, the uh, Aladino. Aladino. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure which size this was, um, but this cigar is awesome. And, and you, I think and this is the this nice. is the the uh, all Corojo. Yes. I yeah. would like to add something about Aladino, if I may. Uh, Aladino is like Husto mentioned. It, it's 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 Julio's Julio's baby. I think uh, to some degree it's going to be his legacy. He wanted to bring people back to the way Cuban cigar was in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s. Yep. And that's why the Aladino bears those two titles, those two dates, 1947, 1961. And, and there's a story behind it, which he hasn't told us the whole thing yet. Uh, but but I think when you smoke that cigar, uh, it will place you back in that era. And, and that's what he wanted to attain. I, I totally and I believe, I believe he has. I, I'm, I'm much younger than, than to be from that era. But if if I if I if I can close my eyes based on what he's told me the history he's shared with me, I'm pretty sure that 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 that, that what in my mind is is what he had in mind. And if you had the opportunity to speak to him one day, and hear his stories, I'm pretty sure once you smoke a lot, you know, you 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 enjoy that as well. Mm -hmm. and, and the other thing I love about even with Christian cigars too, but especially this one, for me personally, Honduran cigars to me have a dryness to them. For me, and this right. is not drying my palate. This out one is at not dry at all. Yeah. At all. Yeah, you know it's laying, it's it's right on my tongue, coating my mouth with great flavors. And to again, not to be redundant, on a small vitola, you know how difficult it is to blend something like this to get this kind of flavor. When, That's what happens. You have a master blender. Oh, okay. I, exactly. So right when we were doing the intro, Mark Mark kind of gestures to me and he gives me the big thumbs up and he doesn't normally do uh, I'm, that. I'm very so I'm just uh, telling you that <laughs> he, uh, uh, kind he gave of me the a big thumbs up cigar snot you know what yeah. I mean <laughs> what, what are, one of the things I, I, I do really want to add to the Aladino because it's one of the major characteristics that that, 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 that you'll see before I go into Rancho Luna which is it's kind of the the one that it took me almost four or five months to to, to get my dad to agree on on the designs and stuff uh, the, the largest gauge that you'll have in Aladino is going to be the 50 gauge, uh, which is the Robusto. Then from there on, you you know you go as as, as an elegante, as as thin as a 38. And you know we'll, we'll basically our, our core size is going to be the Petit Corona, a Palma, a Robusto, and a Churchill, because those are really the classic the classic Cuban sizes. So you know you're not going to see in Aladino bigger gauges, you know, like a 52 or or, or a 60. We're 54. You're not going to see that. And then, uh, the, so, the, and the other thing you need to remember, once you're smoking a thinner gauge cigar, you're smoking more proportionally, you're smoking more wrapper. And, you know, when you're smoking a cigar, it's like, you know, if you go to a restaurant and you ask for a filet mignon, you know, you're asking for filet or you're asking for a lobster tail. You know, the, the, your, you know, the wrapper is your filet mignon or your lobster tail. It's, it's, it's the most expensive part of the cigar. So proportionally, that's where you're getting the best flavor. And, and, and that's why, you know, the, the Aladino is going to be, it's, I believe, is going to be a great success. Because oh, no, you, no. you're going to have, unique. The, the, unique. it's unique. It's going to, and, and, you know, the, the thing is, you know, the way we're, we're manufacturing, you know, from crop to shop, we're going to probably have the best value cigars with the best tasting and best construction cigars on the market. <laughs> And that's the idea. And it's funny with Corojo, you don't think of sweetness. No. You, you really don't. Uh, to, you know, you think a little bit on the spicier end, but the sweetness this, level this on is it. not the, the spice level on this is not. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hardly there at all. It's a very good medium. I would, I would smoke uh, one every of these. day. Every and I can't wait to try one of these in the morning with coffee. Yeah. Black my, coffee. My palate, my palate's kind of tired. You know, from smoking all day today, but. Uh, this has uh, a really good flavor. And, and to be honest, I just said coop. Now, uh, just to give, I, I wish this was my first cigar. Mm. 
It really was, was because gonna I'm going to be honest with you. So this way, the, the listeners know, this is my sixth cigar, and I'm picking this flavor up. You know, yeah, I mean, not that's, that's, that's not a lot of cigars, too. but, I mean, enough sometimes I'm old and my palate gets tired quicker, you know, and as long as that's right. the only thing that gets tired. But <laughs> 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 but anyway, uh, that's another story. But it really, and, and to, to go over here and, and to put the ratio of this tobacco and to blend, you know how difficult, I, I just can't say it enough. When you go into a small Vitola like this, the ratio to get this kind of smoke and this kind of flavor, it, it hats off to your father. God bless him. Oh, oh you need to smoke Thank it with you. you need to smoke it with the Honduran co coffee. And, and oh. So how do they how do they make the Honduran coffee? I'm curious. <laughs> oh, the Honduran coffee. Well, the only thing I can do, I, I can tell you, I can see, I can see it basically in, in my cup. I'm not too much of a coffee connoisseur, <laughs> but uh, but 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 no, the, the Honduras got one of the best coffees in in, in uh, I, I, yep, I roast in, my own in area. Uh, yeah, you I, can make an espresso type, or you can make an American style. And you know. Yeah. It, you, you get it. You get to admire the Colombians with Juan Valdez have done a great job in 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 basically how to market the coffee of Colombian coffee. But Honduras has just got good coffee here in Central America. I Guatemala. think I've had some Honduran blends. I order from a small batch uh, shop. I think I've had well, some Honduran. See, they're, they're very good. The yeah. acidity level is low. No, I That's shouldn't say I, like I shouldn't say blends, yeah. but I've had some beans it's from like, Honduras. Yeah, it's yeah. The, you don't get that acid level at all. Right, and a lot of that is also when you when again kind of a coffee snot too. Is that how you how you roast it? If you, you, roast if you it, go yeah. full city, you get it too dark, mm -hmm. then that's when the acidity comes almost on any anything. But Honduran coffee is is very good. Oh. So you, mentioned are, that very good. you mentioned that you mentioned that Tatascan is, is I'm, I'm smoking a Habano. This is a Habano and a Connecticut, correct? That's yes. correct. Oh, you got a Connecticut? I and I wasn't I yeah, didn't yes, know that they, they really. Have two, they have two what we'll do is uh, I'll probably get you know we'll get you some complete samples of all our yeah. line because remember we were in that process. And then what I could show you is this is uh, kind of the Rancho Luna. I don't know, maybe you could see up close, but this is this is the, the new band that comes out on it. I was just saying that's yeah, a different band still than just, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I'm trying to I'm trying to figure right out. Right there, how, just hold it still. All right, there you go. That's nice. Yeah, I gotta send some to my shop for this. So there's a good see. story behind that. There, there, who's gonna tell you? There, there's a good story, but it, it took me, uh, you know, before. As a matter of fact, him, my dad and I were, you know. We're working all the details for me to come in on board, and and, and you know I say, hey, one of the things I'm coming on board, we we need to change the look of the Rancho Luna to be you know a little bit more modern, more millennial, more you know more attractive. You know today in today's world, young world, everybody's talking about vampires and wolves and all of this, and, <laughs> and, you know, and, and so and not only that. Remember in Hamastran Valley, you know where I grew up when I was a little kid. I used to go horseback riding uh, because my dad, you know, I was so much of a pain in the butt. You know, I was, used to get up early in the morning and, 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 and get up on a horse. Because they asked her. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, We're not ready about FTC. That's right. <laughs> oh. so, so for him to get me back to the house, you know, you, you, you can hear the coyotes start howling. So he said, hey, if you didn't get your butt over there at the house, you know, they're going to eat you. So, you know, I used to. You know, haul ass back to the farm with a horse because that's the only way they could get me. And then, you know, in, in the farm, and, and also, if you look at it, all of us have a little bit of a lone wolf. You know, we like to sit outside, smoke our cigars, and, you know, and I think this is, this is something that I think will appeal. And, and the Rancho Luna will also has an Havana wrapper. And with a with 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 a, with a corojo binder and filler and, and, and wrapper with coro, uh, corojo and habano, and it also comes in a maduro. This one that I have in my hand right now is a maduro, so I'll be getting you a, a, a plenty of samples for for you guys to try them because I'm pretty sure you'll really enjoy these also. Let me tell you, I have to something about the maduro. I, I've never been a maduro smoker um, uh, until I tried this Rancho Luna, and and I don't know what you guys have experienced, but for the most part, every time I tell people they're maduro. Those who are who are medium smoker goes, well, that's not a medium cigar. I said, no, you need to try this cigar. Uh, it's the type of Maduro that that has the characteristics that we have in our, our cigars. It takes you to the middle range, uh, effortless and, and very pleasant. And let me tell you, I think uh, I'm my, in the minus column right now. I owe Costa money because I've been smoking the hell out of that freaking Maduro <laughs> Sancho Luna. <laughs> Much as I smoke it. I think we lost them. Oh, we lost you for a second. There, you back now? now are, are they still yeah. there? Are they? Uh, now, how about coming up to the states now, uh, visiting different places? Because Christian comes to our shop a lot. I'm just wondering what your uh, plan for hitting the states. Our plan, uh, our plan was very simple. Uh, we, we realized, and 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 talking seriously right now, uh, Husto and I uh, have known each other for a long time, and and we have the same vision. We have different approaches, but we knew that we, we had to we had to structure ourselves properly. 
Okay, so so it took us a lot of time for us to to, to get that structure uh, set up. The second thing, and, and probably most important of the structure, was to to get the Rancho Luna the way we wanted it. Okay, logo wise, box wise, and whatnot. And by the way, I have to say, I was a referee between Houston and his dad when he when he had those battles about the, the Rancho Luna. But anyhow, so, so <laughs> now we have finally had. Our, our, I can can tell you that now we're in the position now that we can we can start expanding. Prior to us being involved, as you mentioned before, CLE was distributing our cigars, and they had they had been able to place the cigars in certain places. So it, uh, obviously, it makes sense for us to go back to those 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 uh, uh, retailers who, who were supporting us at that moment, and, and kind of follow up what Christian has started. So we're in the process of doing that as we speak. Okay, uh, uh, we have getting very good reception. Uh, a lot of it because you know we, we carry a very uh, a prominent name in the industry. Uh, and secondly, and probably as important is, you know, we have a good product. So every time we put a cigar in somebody's mouth, they, they enjoy as much as you guys are right now. So we are very aggressively uh, uh, attacking the, the retailers and going out there and, and showing our mm. face and sharing cigars and and pushing our cigars because you have to put it in people's mouth. That's the end of, that's the end of the name. So you get down to us. We are doing that soon. Speak. Get down so you'll to see us. us. You'll see us no, very soon. No, no. You know, we'll we'll coordinate it and we can do this right offline if you want. And, yeah, and we'll, we'll talk. Definitely I'll talk to you later. Absolutely, and, uh, and 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 like I said, it, it is in our best interest to start doing that. And you know, we want to focus uh, regionally. Right now, we're uh, basically a two-man team, but you know, we'll be recruiting and and, and looking forward to establishing you know reps. Uh, you know, maybe bring on you know a northeast rep, uh, southeast rep, and you know, we're passionate. Yeah. We need passion. We, we need people dedicated. We are. Who's tonight? When who's to call me up to do this job? I, I, we want a long-term relationship. So we don't believe in, in short-term. I, I don't want a retailer that I, that I can scam 10 boxes and then forget about it. We want a long-term relationship. That's right. something who's nice is feel very strongly about, much like you guys. I, I mean, th this is the beginning of a long relationship we're going to have with you guys, God willing. And so that's what we approach to, to, mm -hmm. to retail. That's our approach to, to wholesalers. That's the approach we do with anybody. We want to be your business partner. Yeah. You know? and, and, and the whole thing is, well, I'll speak for Northeast in a shop like ours. The most important thing is shelf space. So there is, to be honest with you, uh, there there are many cigars on the market, and you got to say, what can you do to push someone out? Yeah, not put, I, 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 or, or I shouldn't say push anyone Dis out. Displace. No, Displace. Then, Whatever then, happens. To earn our space. Yeah. To right. Earn. Right. Exactly. Right. And and what, what they what, what you do, and I'm not trying to make your vision statement any different than anybody else. It's one shop at a time. You're, right. you're, you're saying if that makes any sense to you whatsoever, and something like this is very interesting, very interesting to me. And, and, and you know, like I said, I, I've been in the beverage industry, and uh, eighty percent of our business was done in, in what they call the down the trade shops. So down the trade for me is is the brick and mortar store stores, because the up to trade were the WalMarts, the Targets, you know, the the Publix, the Winn Dixies, the Albertsons. That's those are the stores that you sell. But the big volume comes from you know from the gas stations from from the oh. small shops, so so like so like you know that was in the in the beverage business. That's what I, where, where I'm where I'm where I'm making reference. And for me, the brick and mortar stores is going to be the core of our business. And I need to you know build that relationship not only with you guys but also have establish a, a partnership that is a win win situation for both of us. Yeah, and and, and on the flip side too, if you look at the retail uh, the retailer B and M. You have to be very picky on that because you want someone that's educated too. That that's going to take that time to introduce that cigar. Excuse me. Once you know, put it in someone's hands and and know about the cigar, because you know there are a lot of retailers out there. As much as people can don't want to hear this, that don't understand what's going on. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm, I'm just being honest. As much as everyone's looking for the manufacturer to come out with a good cigar, yeah. or whatever, that's that's where I come in. That's the relationship that I that I'll have with you. Is that this is what I like? Uh, okay, what what do you have, in in the medium body? Well, you got to try this. You know what I mean? You got to if someone wants a full body cigar, I'm not going to be a, a, some some people at different retail shops just pass it out for not knowing what that person wants. So you need an educated retail force too on, mm -hmm. on, on the brick and mortar side. So. You know, Mark, but that that falls that falls on on, on us. I mean, uh, if I don't you about side too. Yeah, if I don't tell you what what I'm about, if I don't show you what I'm about, and, and I demonstrate to you what I'm about, I'm failing. And but I, I hear you. There, there's there's some shops out there who just don't care. You're right. And 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 so I think it's easy to identify who those are. Oh, and, easily. And we, make, we make we make the proper assessments at the time. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, this is is 
our relationship relationship is very important to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to sell a cigar, okay, but I want to make sure that that I sell a cigar ten years from now, not only tomorrow, today, yeah, and tomorrow. I, that, I, that's that's a great way to look at it. You know, so you know the ideal world for I guess for every cigar manufacturer, especially in my point of view, if you sell ten cigars, I wish mine were four. Mm-hmm. So you know, because that way. Well, every time you get up in the morning, you'll probably light a candle. I love Husto and I like bur- I love Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, yeah, it's great being uh, these guys. That's 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 the, that's the idea. I, I want to get up in the morning and light one of these cigars up. That's yeah. what I want. No, to. I, I want to. I, I want to try. I can't wait yeah. to have a nice. Yeah. Uh, I got some Honduran coffee at home. I think I have some Honduran gonna, coffee. Yeah, in I'm going to roll too. Yeah. I, and the, guys, no, I'll, I got, I'll take I got an idea for you guys. Uh, we need to do one of these shows at the farm. That, oh, that's yeah. what you really we're, we're there. We're oh, there. Oh, uh, speaking of farm, I, it, uh, uh, is, I, if I remember, Chi Chi's, is that is the monkey still alive? Well, actually, my dad gave the monkey away. Uh, because, <laughs> know, I, got it, I, got, I got the shirt of him. <laughs> Cause no, who, because who was no, it? One of the sales, but he bit someone, remember? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We bit somebody. Monkeys are a pain in the ass. I've heard monkeys are a pain in the ass. He didn't Whole bite you? Are, no. Oh, I got along with him. Oh, oh, really? we, we, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm an animal lover. It just Well, there's a story for another time, but that, that was great. Was, <laughs> watch out, I, the monkey. We had a great time. <laughs> It was, yeah. either, it was either killing it or giving it away, and, and nobody wanted to kill the monkey, so they gave it away. Yeah, Good. Yeah, yeah. That was, it was amazing. It was, I had a great time. I, I, heard, so but I heard monkeys like make the worst oh, pets. Oh, the what? good thing is the monkey's alive and is a farm-free monkey. Good. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, monkey free, a monkey-free <laughs> farm, rather. Oh, oh okay. I'll, I'll, God bless it. We went down to go see Christian, and it was, it was, it was a great experience. And we took some uh, city folk down to us, right? Yeah. And it was so funny. Four o'clock in the morning, oh, he is. It was like that scene say when you were a kid. It was so funny. It was. It, it just had to be there. We everyone's up smoking cigars. Five o'clock. Oh, in the was morning. that several years ago? You took yeah, a bunch of people it was, from the oh, shop down to Honduras. It was yeah. phenomenal. It was the best time. The cigars are phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. The hospitality, the food, everything was just. What would you expect out of Earl? Was this mm. top top of the line as, as usual? And well, guys, I, I mean, guys, we, we need to do this, this live, uh, live cast from, from the farm one day. Mm-hmm. I'm there. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I'll tell you, it, right it's, it's something, you know, it humbles you to think you know something in cigars. Mm. I, you know, I know about that much. And when you go down and you see, I, I, I like, that's where I, I always tell, um, I, I was like three, four years ago, I was telling different um, sales force what you got to do. I, I don't know what the percentage is. Not many people are fortunate enough to go to the farm. I said, what right. you got to do, instead of just being a sales force, bring, bring, bring a zip drive. Instead of doing everything, just show, this plug it in the back of the TV and show you what goes on and they're making the cigars. Then they'll understand when it's whatever the price of the cigar is. You'll never have another question about it again. You, you, you're right on, Mark. I mean, I've been a cigar smoker for a better part of 15 years. And, 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 and to be honest with you, I had no clue. I, I, I did the, the appreciation, the work, the, the, the effort, the, the, mm-hmm. the, the what what they do about about this you know oh. it, it's it it is it is insane it mm-hmm. is insane how much work goes behind it and most most of the smokers have no no idea this is going on no they don't, yeah. don't. And mark don't. you're absolutely correct except for the zip drive part i think you meant oh. thumb drive thumb zip, drive zip, zip drive it's the martini yeah right <laughs> I'm thinking my totally. zipper, but anyways, <laughs> you just think, you I just think he will <laughs> thumb drive. But no, seriously, and some people took me up on that because you know you can have the most you you can have a we have some salesmen that are about as uh, energetic as uh, my shoes, and I, no one wants. To, but when you put them in the back and they see this, I think that's a great sales tool to see what's going on in that farm. It, it, it's important that I call it the seed to the cigar approach. There you go. And it really is. And you'll see that passion, seriously. And, and, and your, your dad's farm, I mean, I mean, he's legendary. If you don't know who your dad is, it's, yeah, I guess you don't know the industry. He's, he's one of many godfathers of this industry by far. Too many right. martinis with that's the industry. That's very <laughs> no. In, in terms of the, can you give us an idea, because we get these questions a lot, um, what are the price points of the lines? Well, if you look at Aladino, it's good. It's, it's, it's going to be it's going to be between uh, five fifty and eleven to twelve dollars. It's it's very it's very reasonable. Remember, we're crop to shop. We have no middleman. We we, we manufacture directly, so it, we we want to give the best value and the best manufactured cigar in the industry. And then you when you look at Arancho Luna, you look and their price points are going to be between uh, uh, seven dollars 
and nine dollars. That's correct. And mm -hmm. then uh, Tata Scan is going to be from five dollars. Five to eight. Five. Very five reasonable. To eight. Yep. So they're, mm -hmm. they're very reasonable, and you know we want to. You know we want every cigar smoker to have the opportunity to, sm to smoke one of the best cigars or the best cigar in the industry and you know with great quality and you know like i said us as a manufacturer you know us as a as a, as a farmer as a producer as an ager of tobacco as a blender we will give you the best uh, of, of, of all the worlds in, in the cigar and, and how are they and in box uh counts how they come in the box counts and in the boxes that you're going 20, to sell? 20. 20 bucks count. Mm -hmm. It just makes it easier. I mean, we have to put that little block there, mm -hmm. but it just makes it easier when you when you count in and, and for the numbers when you're dealing with mm -hmm. the retailers or not. It's just 20 bucks count is, is easier to uh, to do the, the mm -hmm. multiplications. And okay. also for okay. stores, we'll probably have also the, the special packages, the refill bundles and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, there are other, other ideas that we might be coming up with in, in the near future, but that's 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 hopefully innovation so we'll come in the near future. I would like to plug something if I may. I know we, we have spoken at length about about the way our cigars are and uh, we have we like to hit that, that sweet spot, if you will, for the medium uh blend smoker. Um when I first met Julio, uh, who's his dad, I, I, I said to him, I said, what, what's up with this? You know, you ignoring that fifteen percent of the 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 hardcore cigar smoker, you know, and, and which you know I, I'm one of those every once in a while. And he said, absolutely not. I'm never going to do this. I said, okay, you know, you know, I, 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 I shut up. I went to the corner. Well, that was in January, right? So I was in the farm three weeks ago, and then he had a big uh, grin on his, in his mouth and then and his face, and he called me up. Hey, Bernie, uh, smoke this. And, you know, as you do on the farm often, when we try and blend some whatnot, we don't put any bands on it. We just put numbers and whatnot. So he gives me he gives me this cigar, and after smoking it, I start smoking it, and I... Right away, as soon as I had the first puff, I looked at him and he was just grinning as big as my grin is right now. And I said, Julio, this goes contrary to what you told me three months ago. He goes, I know, but you need to wait a little longer. So, <laughs> so the, the, the more the story is that for those of you who like the heavy duty cigars, who want a hardcore cigar, who want a full blend cigar, or full body rather, uh, at some point in the near future, we'll have something for you as well. Oh, nice. That's good. And, and we're sitting here. Now, yours is a bigger you know, ring size. Look what you're at. Now, mine's a smaller Vitola. So what happens with smaller Vitolas? What are, what, when you're at the end, what happens? They get harsh and hot. That's firm. I mean, cool. Look at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm quiet just because I'm enjoying yeah, my cigar. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, and, and I, I just, <laughs> just look yeah. at this. Can you just leave me alone. Let me yeah. enjoy my cigar. Like, I, I know mean, we're I'm, doing a show and all, but like, I'm really focused no, on I my mean, cigar right we're now. Here, <laughs> what, what, what are we here? We're a liaison of, of what's yeah. going on. And, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just down a, to a half an inch here, and, and no harshness. I'm just amazed. This is the the Aladino. Uh, that this is all Corojo tobacco. Uh, tell me about like, are there different aged like from different crops? Are there from different uh, sections of the farm? Are there different priming? Is it a like, single farm? Is what he's trying to say? No, but yeah. like like but. It's not all the same priming from the same plant from the exact same location, right? It was like a Corojo right? I had before. Yeah, like right. Any, like any other Corojo. I'll, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you. For example, when you're when you're looking at at Corojo, uh, you know, normally depending the priming, you know, you 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 have up to six or seven primings, mm -hmm. right. and then your lower primings usually are 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 not as strong as the medium or the high primes because in the in the higher primes in the end you have the la Corona, which is which is the the stronger tobacco. Oh. Okay, so uh, it, it depends. The, the the first of all, with the corojo that you're smoking there, they're they're different. They are different primings. Okay, different cuts. So so you might have you know for for strength you might have a, a fourth and a fifth and a sixth priming, or even sometimes a little bit of corona. So so there's there's going to be a mixture of those, and then also the wrapper also is corojo. But you can make a cigar like you have right there, a puro, which is 100% Corojo. They're not going to be all of the same age or the same harvest because yeah. we, we, de mm -hmm. we, would def we have different aging processes. For example, for, you know, my dad has, has held up the, the, the production of Aladino because his wrapper is not ready. So, you know, I have, you know, I have people ordering us Corojo. I mean, the, the, the Corojo, 100% Corojo Aladino, but we're not ready yet. And, you know, hey, Dad, well, no, 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 it's not ready. So, you know, it's I'm not going to argue with him because he's right. And, you know, and I can't push that until it's ready. So if you think the Corojo cigars right now are good, 
you wait to to we come out in, in the next uh, 60 days with that. I think it's going to be absolutely mind boggling. It's going to blow you away. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be something that you really enjoy. And I'll guarantee you, I'll get you uh, as soon as I get those cigars. I'll send you some samples. Yeah, thank you. And I, I think what aging, what it comes down to, is the fermentation. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you're not going to rush that. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. That, that's what it's all about. You know, if you don't fermentate that, that cigar, about, and, uh, and a lot about. of people, a lot of people confuse. You know, the reality is when you think you know a cigar is strong and it bites, it's maybe because the tobacco is not well cured. Well cured tobacco should be smooth. It's, it's like it's like wine. You know, you you, you 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 know, you go through the process of fermentation, and you know that's where you get your maximum. You know, once it stops, it stops. You know, right. your fermentation's got. If you want to, you know, do something else, and you have to probably go to distillation or add a, a different right. additives to make it more fermentation. But you know, tobacco once you know it, it's aged properly, it should be it should be very good. But it has to have a whole process. Tobacco is very susceptible. You have to do it right where you're where, where you're growing it. Where you're cutting the leaves while the priming, while you're drying it in the tobacco house. Once you dry it, get it from the tobacco house, then it goes into a process of fermentation. It's got to be done there. There's a lot of work and a lot of a uh, uh, risk of getting a, a good tobacco crop out. So you know that's where we excel at. I think we're we're the premier, one of the premier growers in the industry. There are great growers out there in the industry that also don't compromise, uh, you know, the aging of the tobacco. But, you know, we like to, you know, with, with our new three brands that we're doing, we're going to do it always right. And, you know, that's my dad's philosophy. And, you know, and that's the, that's the way it is. And that's the, the, also, the, the, you know, the difference of, of, of the profile of my dad's cigars with my brother. He's a stronger blender and we're a milder, medium blender like, like, like my dad's taste. So, you know, those are the, the and him and I agree on that. So that's, that's the major differences. But, you know. And, and aside from that, focus is on focusing on the brands, new brands. <laughs> like, great name. This is the quietest I've seen. <laughs> but the, the, the most, the, the key word that, that you mentioned, that a lot of, it's just my lean manufacturing background, is process. Process, you've you got it one time to do it right. Yep, absolutely. One time to do it right. Because you know, Mark, you, that, that's one part that the, 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 the common uh, smoker don't realize. How many processes are involved in this? It's not yeah, one process. Great point. You know what I'm saying? And, and you can really screw up, you can screw up the whole process just in one of the steps. Mm -hmm. So that's why the dedication to, to quality controls, the dedication to make sure that it's cured properly, the dedication to make sure that it's picked properly, mm -hmm. make sure that it's watered properly. There's so many things that, mm -hmm. that, that have mastered, I think is the right word for it. And that's why you're smoking the cigar you're smoking today and you're enjoying it mm -hmm. the way you Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not one... I'm not trying to hop on because it's Stogie Geeks and it's it's my family and whatever. But oh, I, are we I, doing a show? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am a Stogie Geek. I don't mean, no, I, but I don't. You, I don't normally jump on anything that quick. Trust me when I tell you. All right, don't don't, don't burn your fingers. Or we'll say another yeah, one. I don't, <laughs> no, normally, normally no. you know, these guys don't usually nub their cigars, so uh, this is a very good sign for all of us. Yeah. yeah no, there's it. just a, a earthy, woody characteristic yeah. uh, to this cigar. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it really very very smooth, like no spice mm. uh, whatsoever that I can detect. And yeah. like I said, my palate's pretty tired right now. So just thinking about like not paying attention to what you guys are saying, and just thinking about how great this cigar yeah. would be on a fresh palate with a nice cup of coffee in those earthy and woody notes, and how it would complement each other is really yep. ex exciting for me. Uh, I just I love the flavor profile. Um, it doesn't change throughout. Mm -hmm. I don't get a whole lot of change throughout, but. It does. Yeah. It presents that flavor profile so well. I don't want it to change. Yeah, like, exactly. I like what it's doing. Yeah, right. like, don't I, I change. It, 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 I tell you, it took the words right out of my mouth because mm -hmm. a lot of people say complexity. Complexity is overrated. I overrated in so yeah, much. Totally when you got agree. a flavor, when I mean, you got a yes. sweet spot like this, and it, it's like this from from, big, from beginning yeah. to end. Give it to me, baby. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. yeah, you know, that's it. Just give me this. Give me flavor. I, I'm not we'll here. We love you a long time. We yeah, love right, you a long yeah. time. I, I don't. don't I, I haven't. I haven't got uh, uh, all these. Some of the, these people that come out with these sayings are uh, uh, clover and sweet oats and what a good fucking cigar. That's what it is. Baker, <laughs> Baker spice and un, Baker, un, unsweet, unsweet marshmallow. Mar that sweet marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we're picking on anyone. <laughs> you know, just give me a cigar that a smokes good. Dude, that's all I am asking for. It's not hard. <laughs> this is not Chinese algebra, right? <laughs> uh, it's very simple. Exactly. Keep it simple, stupid. It's that simple. 
really. Oh. I, my hat's off to you, really. It, and, and, and to be, and no disrespect, to be different from Christian is the smartest thing you ever did. Honestly. Well, uh, you know, there's a lot of things I need to learn from him. And, 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 oh, absolutely. And, 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 He's the master. Him, and we'll continue that. But, you know, everybody's got everybody's got their own little niche. And and, and, and I think uh, I need to take advantage of his experience and also uh, take the advantage of the, my father's experience. And, and, and this is the, the product that we're doing. You know, we're, we're, we want to do medium cigars. And I think that's where we're going to focus. And, you know, in the near future, you'll be seeing some probably innovations within a year or two years coming out with stronger cigars for those people that want to smoke a very well-aged cigar properly cured, you know, with, 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 with a kick in the strength. Yep. But, you know, something, when you come in, like, uh, my, I, I was a fuller body smoker from the age of 21 to, like, 45. You get a cigar like this at my Until age. Until last year then. Yeah, yeah, start. exactly. But, <laughs> but the whole thing is you're going to be hitting a sweet spot where people have money. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That that you know that this is not going to be the 21 year old cigar that uh, whatever. I'm not going to keep on going, but it's you hit it, you hit, you hit it. I can't even do this anymore. <laughs> I know. But I, 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 I asked, I burnt myself. All right, <laughs> fingers hurt. You need to have a pipe so you can put it in. There. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I haven't got a clip. I mean, there you go. It, yeah. I mean, that's is that a testament? Don't well, I got it. Okay. And oh. look at this. You got it. They got it. <laughs> the, my, God. I had a toothpick from my martini in the olive, so it's sure, all good. I just want to keep your clip out. Yeah. No. Really? I, I, and to be honest with you, I had a lot of reservations about what this is going to be tonight. I really did. I says, here we go. A uh, full of body. This be, I'm going to be totally honest with you. The full of body, here we go. Oh, okay. I, and it's a good, you know, I like Christian cigars. Don't get me wrong, but it's not my sweet spot anymore. That's just who I am. It gives you agita, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And, and <laughs> it, it, it really does. I, I can only no, do No, like a, legit gives him heartburn when he smokes stronger cigars. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I can that. do that stronger cigar around 2 o'clock. Yeah. You know what I mean? At night. I'm, I'm old. I'm, old. I'm an old fuck. But this cigar just caught me, let my pants down. It really did. It truly did. I did yeah, expect the camera. We have the camera wasn't there. a title for the episode, Caught Me With My, my Pants, pants Down. down. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It totally did. I caught me with my pants completely off. Completely. Look, this is, this is um, I'm glad I came down. I yeah. really am. This is, cheers. Yeah. Where, where um, you know, another question we get a lot is where right now can the cigars be found? Like what states are you guys in? That's a good in? point. Well, we basically have just started in uh, in Pennsylvania. Uh, we have done two trips there. We we already in, in a couple stores, and um, hopefully we'll be expanding a little bit more. Oh yeah. Uh, and and like I said, we weren't ready with 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 with, with our cigar presentation. For example, uh, maybe you saw the previous Rancho Luna presentation. Right. Yep. Into this. So one of the things that we have done, we, we don't want to go out and, and start, you know, it, could you imagine coming out with new brands and already coming out through, through you know, uh, trying to get rid of the first inventory? So it's, it's not the right thing to do. So we're just taking our time to do it right. Probably our, our, our really big kickoff is going to be now in the IPCPR in the right. next 60 days. I'll see you there. But, but, but definitely <laughs> we'll be starting. So wait, well, you don't have any more of these? No. Oh, no, what? no. We, <laughs> I, we, I got. I, I managed to get oh, these I, from the CLE rep I had. <laughs> so. I don't know, but don't worry. I, ha I have some back yeah. at, the, at the office. As, soon as we get back into yep. Miami yep. On, on Monday, we'll. Well, actually, on Monday I'm going. Uh, I'll be. I'll be traveling, but I'll, I'll make no. sure. That I'll, no, but I'll get something. <laughs> I ship you. it on Saturday. Don't uh, worry. Yeah. There you go. Uh, that's you why. Go. See, that's why you have a team. Nothing like absolutely, a team. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. So we'll, we'll, we'll get something to you. Yeah, that's no, no, great. That's great. We'll, probably, yeah, really. we'll meet your addresses, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll get oh, them to you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then with a shop and whatever. And I'm going to, okay, we talk about lavender and clove and whatever. This we is do? the first. Oh. No, I don't know this. This is the first. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably, I, I always go with my first initial taste. Mm -hmm. This is the first girl who I get like that, like, like that cereal taste. You know what I mean? Like a nice. What kind of cereal? Um, <laughs> oh, like fuck. Fruit Loops? No, like, no, no. Like a. A, like a like, Cheerios type of Cheerios? Yeah. No, is it apple go, cinnamon Cheerios? No, fuck or off. Like <laughs> fuck off. No, it's really fuck off. Super sugar fuck crush. off. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, it's really unique. It's not your typical <sighs> Corojo. No, it really it, 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 it it isn't. It's it just it was, really. Yeah. How many times can you say that? Like, I, I understand this, the cap and everything else, but it's just extremely unique. And I'm yeah. telling you, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Fuck off. But I'm telling you, regulated again, by the FDA, but not the FCC. No, you know, <laughs> something. It makes me feel good. Let's put it this way: 
What makes me feel good about, this is what I'm saying, uh, you let into about FDA. People are not going to be doing what they're doing now if they're afraid. And my hat's off to you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Everyone's worrying about what's coming down the pike, and you guys are here to do what's right. Yep. Right. And that's Let's that's the bottom line. Yeah. It, it really is. So if it goes up, whatever happens, this is, this is what makes me happy about cigar manufacturers that are uh, they're willing to step outside the lines and do something different. I'll tell you what, to address uh, your previous question, you can, you can go to our website, www.gretobacco.com. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you, you can reach us, reach us through that, through email and whatnot. It also has uh, the, the address. We have mm -hmm. a showroom in Miami. Those of you who know Miami is on Burr Road, which is 40th Street and 84th Avenue. We don't have a shop, uh, per se. We do have our cigars there, and, and mm. we have a very nice-looking uh, nice uh, lounge that you can sit and enjoy a cigar with us. So if you can find anywhere else, you can always call us, and we can point it to the right direction, or you can always come to we us. Can just go, we can just go to Miami. Can we just no, go there you go. We go to yeah. Miami. Oh, there will but be in, yeah. after, after, we're done, we're, we're, after we're done with this segment, we, we, we keep in mind, uh, I'm going to give you the address of our store so you can send some samples up to us. There you go. Absolutely. You there know you what I mean? Please that, do that. That's, that's a done deal. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, really? <coughs> well, uh, Great job. We're going to take a short break. I uh, want to thank our very special guests for coming on the show, uh, providing us with cigars. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for having Rizzo us. Rizzo and Bernie, thank, thank you very much. Um, we very much enjoyed your cigars. Uh, so. uh, just a little bit? A little. You think? <laughs> I'm smoking you, you a little bit. Very sexy, guys. <laughs> no, I mean, this is the quietest I've ever seen Paul. <laughs> I, was, I was totally lost in my cigar. You know, I was told, I was told that he was going to... Uh, be bombarding us, but I'm uh, pleased just to hear that. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I, I do got to do this. Can we just do this for me? What's that? I love what you do. You got to ask him. Oh, but you want to do the five questions? Oh, yeah. We these were kind of running short these on are time. The I don't care, but, but they can wait. <laughs> I, you got to ask these five questions. All right. Please. Let's Go. do the five questions. <laughs> so, because this is going to be interesting. I'll start with Bernie. Bernie, three words to describe yourself. Uh, fast, emotional, and passionate. Gusto, three words to describe yourself. Uh, honest, friend, always willing to help. Gusto, if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? A serial killer weapon of choice? Absolutely a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, if you were a serial killer, what would be your weapon of choice? Well, I'm Puerto Rican, so it has to be a knife. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know some Puerto Ricans, and that's totally. Oh, we, influence, we do influence other people. Yeah, yes, yeah I that's, that's, that's good. That's, that's, that's good. <laughs> Me too. I like a slow and easy. <laughs> there you go. Bernie, if you were to write a book about yourself, what would the title be? The Master. Gusto? Being what would the title be in a, a book about yourself? Being a Patriot. <laughs> Gusto, in the popular game of Ask Grabby Grabby, <laughs> do you prefer to go first or second? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll get in trouble with this one, but I, I usually like to. I like. I usually like to be the lead. <laughs> okay, that's good, Bernie. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> Whatever You're a team player. That's good, Bernie. That's it. All right, Bernie. Yeah. Choose two celebrities to be your parents. Parents. Uh, good. That's a good one. Uh, I actually have to think about this. Um. Whoa. Uh, you got me on this one. Uh, it can be alive or dead, fiction, non-fiction. Oh, Clint Eastwood. Uh, I would choice. like to be my dad. And I would like my mother to be probably uh, Natalie Wood. And the only reason I say this is because I just saw something about her this morning. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Gusto, how about you? Choose two celebrities to be your parents. Man, I, I would probably even say Darth Vader, but I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Darth, Vader is a Darth Vader is a choice for dad, yes. Uh, I don't no, no. I, you got me, got me. I, that, I'm not even able to be able to answer. Hang on. I know. The mom is tough. I know, because yeah. you, you want to think like hot, but then and you're Mother's like, it's my mom. is only this <laughs> Sunday, too. <laughs> usually, usually the ones we I think know. It, it's conflicting. I love it. I love, two different... Two different personalities going on here. <laughs> you got a mom, dude. Select the mom. Yeah, yeah, Bernie's like, you got to complete it. We're almost That's there. It, We're Come almost done. There's <laughs> <laughs> pressure. Bring his peers. I don't know. What <laughs> Get something, dude. Don't say Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Not there. Not there. Give me the Fred Sanford big one. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. 
Oh, what's the, the 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 mom with all the the, the, the Patrick's family, the the, the, the lady that had all the three oh. six kids? Oh shit, I don't know. That oh, Patrick's that the reality shit. Yeah. No, 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 no. The Patrick's family, you know, three boys, three girls. I know, Dolly Parton. The, the, Move on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bernie chose for you, Dolly Parton. Final answer. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> thank you guys, Bernie okay. and Husto. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yes.